Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something that I thought would be really helpful for those of you who are still interested in wearing powder foundation. You still have a lot of questions on my channel. I feel like I speak the language of powder foundation. Powder foundation is like a first language to me. I prefer powder most of the time over liquid. I don't know if that's just the nature of me kind of growing into makeup with bare minerals uh, and with powders in general, but I always gravitate back towards powder, especially when I uh, just want a really great makeup look that's going to last me all day. Now, I know powder foundation is not for everyone, and that's why I'm making this video specifically for those of you who A, are interested in powder foundation, or B, just haven't really uh, gotten the hang of it yet. So I'm going to go through my favorite powder foundations and kind of describe them and tell you which ones I think would be best for certain skin types types or just which ones might be better for your daily routine or daily lifestyle. So let's go ahead and start because you know I um, I have an abundance of powder foundations and uh, I'm just going to break those down for you today. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Really quickly before we start, I want to make a disclaimer that this is not a video on how to apply powder foundation. If you are interested in that, I have a full in-depth routine and how-to tutorial that I will link down below that shows you how to uh, get really great coverage and just a really nice fresh look using powder foundation. So if you're interested in that, it will be listed down below. So I'm going to start out with my favorite powder foundation and most of you guys know it is the Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation and this is the Loose Just Original Formula. Bare Minerals does have the Loose Original and also so loose matte uh, and there's a little bit of a difference between the two which I will uh, try to break down as quick as possible but the original powder foundation is the one that I have always went back to it is definitely my favorite out of all the powder foundations I have in my collection it's what I'm wearing today and it has a very luminous property to it so it has the mineral mica in it uh, which gives you that reflective kind of glowy look and that's something that's really unique about this powder it's the only powder foundation that I have tried to this date that gives you an all-over luminous look almost like you're wearing a liquid now that's kind of the big difference between the original and the matte formula. The matte formula does not contain the mineral mica, so you get more of a matte finish or a flatter finish. Uh, I have only used the matte foundation a couple of times in my life. Uh, it's not for me, but it is going to be for those of you who prefer a flatter finish uh, or who tend to be a little bit more on the combination oily side. So that's that. That's all I'm going to mention on the Bare Minerals Matte Foundation. Great for those of you with combination oily skin and for those of you who don't want that uh, luminous look. So going back to the Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation Formula, who do I think this formula would benefit the most? Honestly, I have seen everyone from extremely oily to extremely dry wear this powder foundation and that is why it is my top pick. It is so versatile in every single aspect. Uh, I'm not saying that it's going to look amazing on every single person that's going to try it. You have to decide that for yourself, but I just love how customizable it is. You can go from sheer to fuller coverage like I have on today. Uh, and it's always, it always feels so much more lightweight than what a liquid uh, foundation does so as far as you know whoever I think this is going to benefit the most I say if you have never tried powder foundation or if you have never tried the bare minerals original start out with it and then if it's not your cup of tea uh, I have some other suggestions that I'm going to bring up so uh, sheer to full coverage really customizable and breathable and honestly I think it works for several different skin types my second favorite powder foundation is hands down the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. And uh, this is totally different from the Bare Minerals Original, which is why I was so shocked that I liked it when I first tried it probably about four years ago. And I've been using it ever since. But this is a pressed powder foundation and it is phenomenal. And when I say phenomenal, 
I'm saying I have never tried a pressed powder foundation formula as good as this. And trust me, I have tried a lot. I have tried the Pure Cosmetics Pressed Powder Foundation, the Wonder Beauty Pressed Powder Foundation, the It Cosmetics Pressed Powder Foundation, and even the newer Bare Minerals Bare Pro Pressed uh, Formula. And believe me when I say that nothing compares to this. This is going to be for those of you who, it, first of all, this is another one of those uh, powder foundations that I think will be great for a lot of different people, but especially if you are one of those people who wants coverage fast and quick in the morning and like a no fuss product, this is something you can literally throw on super quick. You can get really uh, good coverage in a hot minute with this, okay? Like in a really short amount of time, you will have great coverage with this powder foundation. And that's why um, I wanted to mention this is because I know a lot of you guys want that, um, you know, really effortless uh, glowing look with the Bare Minerals, but that does take some time to buff in. You do have to work with that and you have to make sure you buff it in properly. With this, you just throw it on and you are literally out the door. Uh, also customizable coverage with this, you can go from sheer to really full coverage and again, in a fast amount of time. So since this does have a more of a flat finish to it, I would definitely recommend this formula a little bit more geared towards normal to combination oily skin and that's only because it is uh, more flat and more matte and I know some of you guys with dry skin don't like that look but I have dry skin almost year round and believe me when I say that this looks way better on my face compared to like a full coverage liquid foundation. Liquid foundations always adhere to my dry areas and this just does not um, accentuate them as much. So this is again for a lot of different skin types if you are a person on the go. Also really great for touch ups I forgot to mention. But if you're on the go, you want coverage fast, quick, and you want a nice smooth looking base, MAC Studio Fix Powder. It is wonderful. So this is a newer powder foundation in my collection. I've only had it for, I want to say about four months now, but I knew from the moment I tried it that I loved it. And it's really strange because I would not expect myself to like a powder foundation from this brand just because I've never seen them do it before. But it's the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Powder Foundation. And I have not seen anybody really talk about this much on YouTube. I did a full review on it because I was so pleased with it. But it is 100% flawless. Like when you apply this on your skin, it is just almost immediately full coverage. If you want a lighter coverage with it, you uh, don't use as dense of a brush, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Use something that's a little bit more fluffy. Uh, but it's very similar in a lot of ways to MAC Studio Fix. But I will tell you the difference in my opinion is that Studio Fix feels a little bit more comfortable on the skin. And that's not me dogging this product. That's just my dry skin. Uh, and me noticing how this uh, kind of feels and reacts with my dry skin. So with that being said, I think this powder foundation, um, honestly, I would gear it more towards those of you with oily to combination skin. That's not to say that it's not gonna work for those of you with dry skin because I have dry skin and it looks phenomenal on me. But it feels a little drying on my face is what I'm trying to say. I have to moisturize really well when I use it and then I use a um, facial mist after I've applied it just to uh, kind of relieve a little bit of that dry feeling. Uh, but overall, this is again something that's great for touch ups. It's great just to keep in your bag. It goes on really fast, no effort required. Uh, and it's just, it is a wonderful product. I mean, Clinique really did do a good job formulating um, this powder foundation. So those of you who are looking for something that may control oil a little bit better out of all three of these options, I think this one um, might be your guy to go with. All right, so last but not least is a, uh, it's not really a powder foundation. It's not really made to be worn by itself, I don't think. 
Uh, but I have raved about this for years now and it is going to be great for those of you who want more of a sheer to light coverage. And it's actually my beloved Lorac Perfection Powder. So this is a baked powder. So none of these other um, powder foundations have been baked. And generally when powders are baked, they aren't meant to be worn by themselves. Although I know Laura Geller does do the baked uh, powder foundations, but I'm not a fan of those or they would be in my video right now. But what I'm trying to say is that this is not really specifically meant to be worn by itself, but I have worn it on several occasions by itself and it still looks just as beautiful as it does on top of liquids. I always recommend this for a setting powder to set your face. Um, anytime somebody asks what I use alongside of liquid, this is what I use. Um, and it's just a great formula that doesn't enhance the pores. It's just so um, smooth and it feels really good on the skin. Uh, but it's definitely just gonna be for those of you who want a more sheer to light coverage. You could probably get a borderline medium coverage with this if you built it up. Um, but I just think the formula is phenomenal. It's a multitasking powder. You can use it by itself, but it also looks good on top of other products. And uh, I just think it's a hidden gem. I, I don't know why people have not caught on to the Lorac Perfection Powder. It just it blows me away. It's blown me away for years now. I absolutely love it. And several of you guys that have tried it um, upon my recommendation have told me you love it as well. So for my gals out there who are looking for something that isn't as intense as the other three options I have um, shown, Lorac Perfection, really good option. All right guys, so those were my top picks and I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions in the comments saying, well, have you tried this and have you tried that? More than likely, I have tried it. The only mineral um, product or mineral brand that I know I have not tried as far as their powder foundation goes is Jane Iredell, Jane Iredell. A lot of people comment and ask me to review that brand. I just really haven't ever been intrigued by it, if I'm being totally honest. Um, so off the top of my head, that is like the only mineral powder foundation or powder foundation that I can think of that I have not tested out. I have tried Makeup Forever, Profusion. I've tried, like I said, Pure Cosmetics, It Cosmetics, Wonder Beauty. So many powder foundations have come into my life and I am so selective. Uh, about my powder foundations that these are really the only ones that made the cut and the only ones that I could personally suggest to you guys. So I hope I gave you some suggestions. If you are in the market for a new powder foundation, these are my absolute favorites. Uh, and I think there's something for everyone just within these four options. And if you have any questions about the powder foundations that I may not have touched on, feel free to leave those down below and uh, I will try to get back with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.